This is the Ender 3 V3 KE made by Creality. The KE is the Clipper edition of the next generation Ender 3 series. It's offering amazing features that are usually reserved for top-end models like the hands-free auto bed level system, auto Z offset, the Sprite Direct Extruder, and impressive print speeds of up to 500 millimeters a second. The printer comes well packaged and the new frame design allows it to be packed smaller and neater. Everything is included to get you started. There's a quick start guide for the assembly and setting up information of the software. An accessory bag including the assembly hardware, tools, USB stick and a hyper PLA filament sample. There's the power cable, the touch screen, a spool holder with a filament runout sensor, the top gantry with pre-installed dual Z-axis lead screws and the hot end and extruder. And finally we have the base with a Y-axis and bed platform installed. Assembly for this printer is super easy and even for beginners it's a breeze setting up the machine. The manual has clear instructions on how to assemble the machine and making it easy all the bolts are labelled in bags. The complex parts are already set up and pre-assembled and just need to be bolted together along with plugging in a few cables. The new generation of the Ender 3 3D printers are one of the easiest and quickest hassle-free kits to assemble. The Ender 3 V3 KE builds on the previous generations with additional features and with new custom aluminium profiles and a moulded plastic base which gives it a neat and clean design. At the back there are dual Z lead screws moved by a single stepper motor which uses a belt to synchronise both sides and this achieves balance and rigidity on the Z axis when printing. Dual model cooling fans are found on the tool head and the hot end comes with a 0.4mm nozzle installed. This can reach temperatures of 300 degrees which is good for printing a variety of materials like PLA, PETG and flexible TPU. Feeding filament into the hot end is the Sprite Direct Extruder that produces a strong and unified force. The Y axis is using a pair of 8mm steel rods and linear bearings rather than the V-slot wheels and aluminium extrusion found on the previous generation, which is now able to move the light and build platform quickly and steadily. The hot end and extruder move along the X axis with a newly upgraded linear rail and this is ultra smooth allowing fast and accurate and steady movement when printing. When the belts need to be tightened, the X and Y axis have new low profile belt tensioners and these adjusted with allen keys. The bed has a removable magnetic PEI steel build surface and I found this works really well and they are one of my favourite printing surfaces. There is no need to use glue sticks and prints adhere well to the platform and then are easily removed when finished. At the back of the print bed there are handy alignment bolts which help align the build platform when reinstalling. Having good levelling is the basis of print quality and the KE features a CR touch sensor for auto levelling and a load sensor in the front left corner for the auto Z offset. For a beginner this is great as there is no need to turn screws or make adjustments. The bed level is totally hands free and completely taken care of by the machine. The Z offset can still be manually adjusted on the touch screen if needed. It's good to see features like this from higher end printers reaching a budget printer. The 4.3 inch colour touchscreen is easy to use and the user interface is easy to navigate. The loaded models have diagrams that makes it easy to find and select a model for printing. On the underside of the display there's a USB-C port for connection and two USB slots on the side for loading files. This printer also has Wi-Fi which means files can be sent directly from the slicer software. For printing we have a build volume of 220 by 220 by 240 millimetres which is enough for most basic models. The printer has print speeds of up to 500 millimetres a second with 300 millimetres set as the default printing speed in the software. The printer runs on a clipper based firmware and there's input shaping which has preset value but this can be further tuned by adding the optional vibration compensation sensor. There's also an optional USB camera that can be plugged in for real time monitoring and time lapse footage. The first print is the Benchy Boat which is included sliced on the USB stick. This is printed with the white hyper PLA filament. Starting the print process is simple and having the printer take care of the hands free bed level makes the process as easy as possible. The print took 20 minutes and this included the automatic calibration and bed level. Overall it turned out to be a decent print that printed quickly. For slicing more files the Corality print software is used. It has a simple workflow and beginners can use the stock profiles to quickly get files ready. The printer can print up to 500 millimeters a second but for PLA the default print speeds are set at 300 millimeters a second. The default settings produce good results and these can be adjusted as the user gains more experience. 
Having Wi-Fi capabilities on the printer allows control and monitoring from anywhere within the Creality Print software. For more prints, we'll be using the blue Hyper PLA filament. The Hyper PLA is designed for high-speed precision printing with fast cooling. This articulating bone dragon has individual pieces that are linked together while printing. Once the printed part is complete, a light flex of the PEI build plate allows the model to be removed effortlessly. This print took around three and a half hours and the final result looks great and works as intended. Next up, we've got a print of a screw lock carabiner. This print is made up of five individual parts and these parts are then assembled to build the item. I did find the tolerances on the moving parts to be a bit tight, but overall it turned out to be a decent functional print. The geometric pot is printed using the spiral mode, which starts with a few base layers and then prints one 0.4mm wall around the edges to create the model. The PEI plate holds models well when printing, and once finished, it allows the printed model to be removed easily as soon as it starts to cool. The final print turned out great, and the printer performed as expected, producing a good result. The Ender 3 V3 KE is well suited for beginners looking for an entry level machine that's easy to set up and allows you to get started printing quickly. The software is easy to operate and the printer produces fast and good quality prints. For a budget printer, it includes many features that are usually found on higher end models, like the Wi Fi connection, the touchscreen, the hands free auto bed level system, a Sprite Direct extruder, and its quick printing speeds. The Ender 3 printers have been an extremely popular range of 3D printers and the V3 KE continues to offer good value and it makes a great first 3D printer either for new users or if you're looking to upgrade from an older model.